Inferno? Holy f <laughs> This is absurd. I don't even know what's going on. Okay, killed that guy. Let's go. Is this an MVP for me? Come on. She's popping off. I'm popping off. I'm standing on a boy. Mecha Break is a 6v6 mecha PvP game that combines the coolness of piloting a mech with the abilities of a hero shooter. The game has a very much single player feeling tutorial, unskippable by the way. Tutorials are often one of the hardest features to make. So I'll cut this one a mecha break. Yeah. However, there was a really lengthy character creation process. If you took the time to really get into it. Waistline is at minus one, guys. Maybe it maybe we bring it in a little. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. This looks like she can maybe support. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm so this is a serious game, okay? Stop laughing. Get your minds out of the gutter, okay? Seriously, there's nothing funny about this, okay? Nothing. And it felt like our character was going to get a single player campaign. Maybe we might see that in the future. For the beta, players gained enough currency in order to purchase every mech, paint color, pretty much everything other than battle pass items. And although this is a great way to test everything they could, I do wonder about the monetization in the future. Most likely, it'll take quite a lot of grinding in order to purchase a mech, as this seems like a great candidate for making people purchase in-game currency. However, for me, it was great. I got to play with all the mechs, seeing which ones fit my style of gameplay, and unlocking a mech is pretty cool. There's a cutscene that shows up parts of the mech like some sort of car commercial, highlighting the really high quality mech models. Haven't not played mech games since Mech Assault 2 in 2004? I was pretty rusty in general with the sort of gameplay I'd be getting into and how exactly the movement worked in the game. And helpful Twitch chatters actually were able to teach me things I wouldn't have known otherwise, like maneuvering in the air or special abilities some of the mechs had. So yeah, the game did really teach me or really help me out by giving helpful actions during the game, but that's fine. There's always going to be mechanics you can only learn by doing. What really got me was the unrestricted matchmaking. I cannot tell you how many deaths I had because someone good at Panther would only target me all game, literally locking me out of playing from time to time. Am I? Am I alive? Look, I don't expect to win every game or anything, but I hate not being allowed to play the video game. Especially when it's game number three, and I have no idea what I'm doing. Even more crazy than the matchmaking was some of the game modes. There's not a lot of direction while playing these game modes. A lot of it is kind of learn as you go, but good luck, because there's a lot going on. The modes themselves were alright. Capturing points or pushing payloads, a capture the flag game mode that requires players to capture a point, bring a key back to an upload point, and a deathmatch oh mode, God. which had unclear objectives and honestly was annoying enough what that it made me want what? to die in game, of course. What? Overall, I like the upload mode and the payload modes the most. They made the most sense to me. However, amid the chaos of fighting, it was pretty rough to start these modes off. Seeing what the objective is or what to do was painful at first, especially when trying out different mech comps. Okay, I'm gonna go over here, I guess. Are Next we objective. bad people for doing the objective right now? No. That's why we're winning, right? That's fair. Speaking of, the mechs in this game were basically split into tanky defense and offense, snipers, supports, and a whole lot of DPS that had long and shorter range. There were certainly a lot of variety of mechs here, which is awesome. The mechs all looked really unique and cool, with customizable paint jobs that you could really make your own, and mods that you could unlock through the battle pass to give your mech a slight edge to shielding or flight speed. A concern I have is that the battle pass clearly was separated into paid and unpaid, making me wonder how good the mod items would have to be in order to make a paid battle pass worth it. 
This is dangerous territory if true, meaning the game could go a more pay to win route in the future. Another pain point with the game is the absolute unskippable sequences when games are over, progress in the battle pass, and the MVP screens. Honestly, it was a long sequence and being unable to skip it so I could hit the rematch button was maddening. Are you serious right now? My last pain point was the environmental events that would happen in game. Ion storms and other things would make seeing enemies or allies, or the screen in general, really difficult and more chaotic than ever. I understand that sometimes the game had to make matches and or maybe give an underdog team some sort of advantage, but it ends up just being confusing and downright annoying instead. Dad, I... the, the pulse storm killed everybody? Did we win? For all my pitfalls with the game, there were times when dueling with a friend that I found the mech that changed everything for me, the Tricera. I was finally able to not get bullied anymore and instead be the immovable object. Bully others with oppressive firepower, allowing my teammates to hide behind me or protect me as I sat on an objective. That was when I really started to enjoy myself, even managing to finally earn MVP. But it did take some coordination to make it happen, something I wasn't able to have happen in solo queue. The support mechs are really cool, and although I don't think all the kits work super well in the game, I do see a lot of merit in the variation they provide. Mecha Break was an extremely challenging game. There were many hidden mechanics to it, many techniques and strategies to playing the mechs, and deep customization of both pilot and mechs. For mecha lovers out there, maybe this is your game. For me though, I ended my play sessions with a headache more than one time, as the chaos on the screen is truly a lot to deal with in this game. And some of the game modes like capturing points and hoping your teammates defend them can be more than annoying to experience. While I don't dislike the game in its entirety, I do think with a few balance patches, proper matchmaking, better tutorials, skippable end sequences, and a paid battle pass tier that doesn't make the game pay to win is all they need to make this game really great. I'll be keeping my eye on this game, hoping for those things for next playtest. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what mechs you like the most and what needs tuning. Yeah, make way boys. <laughs> I love this. Okay, this game might be the greatest game that exists. Back, back, back from the dead.